This video will show you how to do question four in the uh, quiz over chapter five. This problem says that Sarah negotiates the price of $27,700 for a new Toyota Camry hybrid sedan. She's prepared to give a down payment of 18%. Her credit union offers her a four year amortization loan for the remainder amount at a rate of 1.5%. And so how much money will be paid in interest is what the question asks us. There's a lot of things we need to do before I can actually answer that question. So let's see if we can figure out how much we can do with this problem um, and what's gonna happen. So first off, we need to find out what her monthly payment will be. So let's go and find out how much is her monthly payment will be. So I go to my book and I get out the formula for that. And the formula for how much monthly payment I'm gonna make is P is equal to PMT times one minus one plus R over N to the negative NT all over top of R over N. I actually want the payment. So it helps to maybe actually solve this formula for the payment um, just because it makes it a little bit easier for you in the end. So we're going to go ahead and solve this formula for payment, which means we're going to divide through by this. The book actually writes down the payment itself. And the payment's actually equal to P, and you just take the reciprocal of this. So P times R over N, all over top of one minus one plus R over N to the negative NT. Make that a little bit read it more readable. So now again, what I'm going to do is I'm going to write down everything I have, which is my payment is one letter, my P is another letter, my R is another letter, my N and my T. So I then go look at this problem. She actually negotiated a price of $27,700, but she's gonna put down an 18%. So my, my, um, pay, my, um, my P, which is, stands for my present value, because that's how much I'm gonna take out on the loan. So my P is my present value is not gonna be the $27,700. So twenty twenty five thousand seven hundred dollars minus eighteen percent of that. So we're gonna then multiply by eighteen percent times the twenty five thousand seven hundred dollars to find out actually what is her pay, her principal right now. So her principal right now is twenty five thousand seven hundred minus twenty five thousand seven hundred times point one eight. So she's actually that's actually how much she's gonna take out is gonna be $21,074. So that's how much she's actually gonna take out in a loan because she's got enough money to do the rest. So you always wanna find out what her down payment is and subtract that off. My interest rate is 1.5%, so 0 0.015. My N, we're gonna do monthly payments. So um, my N would be 12, because we're doing monthly payments. Um, and then we have four years, we're gonna do this. So we have all that information. We now need to just put everything into our formula and then find out what our payment's gonna be. So my payment is the only thing I don't know. So again, that's what I'm looking to find. My present value is at $21,074. My R was 0 0.015. My N was 12 over one minus one plus 0 0.015, sorry, over 12 to the negative 12 times three, oh, times four, whoops. I give you a different problem. 12 times four. A little bit more space here. Can't do that. Okay. Um, there's a four here. Okay. 
So I then take out my calculator. And again, I'm gonna go ahead and show this to you on my calculator. So I'm gonna start with my $21,074. I'm gonna multiply that by parenthesis 0 0.015 divided by 12. That's my numerator. And then divide that by, I do need my denominator in parentheses. There's no parentheses here. We kind of think about having to put your own parentheses in. So I need to put a parenthesis around this top. I need to put parentheses around the bottom. So I've got my parenthesis on the bottom and it's going to be one minus. There's a parenthesis already there. So one plus, so I'm going to put parenthesis one plus 0 0.015 divided by 12. Close that. I'm going to raise that too. And again, if you don't have it go up there, you're going to need to put in parentheses, but negative 12 times four. Hit enter. And it tells me that I'm going to have a payment of $452.60. And this time, I, because it's a payment, I need to pay round it up. So even though you don't think you need to round it up, you won't pay it off in time if you don't. So you're gonna have $452.65 that you need to pay every month. Because if I don't round it off, these, this decimal part, this fraction of a penny here, this fraction of a penny will add up and you have to pay that as a big lump sum in the end. So it's better to round it up, in which case you won't have to pay as much at the very last payment. You can also use a TVM solver. So I'm gonna go into apps, finance, TVM solver. My N again is 12 times four. If you don't know that that's 48, you can just do times 12 times four. My interest rate was 1.5%. My present value is my 21,074. My payment's what I wanna find. My future value, if you have this paid off, my future value should be zero it should be all paid off. So you want your future value to be zero. We can then come up here and find out what our payment is. So my payment, I come up with the same value of $452.60. Ooh, I wonder why I must've done something wrong because it should have been exactly the same value. I must've done something wrong when I did my calculations because I didn't come up with the exact same value and I should have. So, um, there's something went weird with that and who knows. Um, again, you can also, I don't wanna go back and show it, but that's basically the idea. Again, I wanna go back and show you how you can use this. I'm gonna reset everything. My present value was the $21,074. Um, my payment's what I wanna find. My future value again will be zero. My interest rate is the 1.5%. And my periods are, there's 12 times four or 48. Again, I'm doing monthly. I come back up here to payment and I can calculate my payment. And I get the same thing that TVM solver gave me on my calculator. So I must've done something wrong when I did my calculations on my, um, when I did it in the, um, with the formula. But it's basically the same idea. And that's how you can do that. So that's that first part of the problem. The next part asks you how much money will be paid in interest. So we're going to use the values that the calculator gave us. So just so I use the, the right numbers here. And again, that was $452.62. $452.62. If I want to know how much was will be um, paid in interest, then all I gotta do is find out how much am I gonna pay for this over the life of it. And so this is where you can kind of make sure your answer makes sense. So I'm gonna multiply this by, I have 12 payments a year and I have it for four years. So again, I'm gonna find out what that is. I'm gonna take my $452.62 times my 12 times my four. And I find out that I'm gonna get pay $21,724.00 and 76 cents. Now that's how much I'm gonna pay for the whole thing. And again, this is where you can make sure your answer makes sense. If this isn't close to how much you borrowed, then you did something wrong. So we, it is pretty close to what I borrowed. Um, 
So it tells me I didn't do something wrong. And the amount I'm going to pay in interest is going to be taking how much I'm actually going to pay for the car minus how much I took out a loan for. So I don't want to actually look at how much I did for um, the, the car cost me because I didn't have to pay interest on what I put down because that was my money. But I paid $651.76. And then it asked me, what would my monthly payment, which you already know, how much will I pay in total? Well, again, I'm going to pay $21,725.76 in total, plus how much I put down. So I got to find out how much I put down. So I need to also add to that how much I put down to my down payment. Was my 70 25,000, sorry, excuse me, 25,700 times the 0.18. So my 25,700 times the 0.18, um, that was um, $4,625, sorry. So that's how much I put down. So I would have to add in my $21,725.76, how much I actually paid over the life of the whole loan, plus the 46,000. So the amount I did total would have been, on my total paid, would equal the $4,625 that I put down, $26, sorry, $26 I put down, plus, the $21,725.76. If she had a simple interest loan at the same interest rate and time, how much would she pay in interest? So you can actually find that out by looking at your using the total, the simple interest formula. Um, that one's a lot easier to do. So you would just find out how much you would be paying in a simple interest, just using a simple interest formula, which how much she was going to put down. And then um, so your your principal, which was the $21,074 times using the simple interest formula. 